Hey, this is Bima here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the housing market for 2021 and what's gonna be happening moving forward. In order to get an idea of what's gonna happen in 2021, we need to look back at 2020 and see what happened. So in 2020, we had COVID and people are now being able to work from home now because companies aren't allowed to. And not only because of that, people are now can work from home and a lot of companies are moving over to Austin, like Tesla and Oracle, and so people, a lot of people are moving to Austin. A lot of Californians are moving here and the interest rates have not, have never been lower at 2.5, 2.6 for a 30 year fix, which is just insane. So interest rates are going lower. The number of houses available for sale are decreasing because people are concerned about selling their house. So the number of houses are less, the interest rates have never been better and more people are moving to Austin, which is a sign of houses are gonna increase. And as I mentioned, they're increasing by 15% as a whole across Austin. So if you had bought a house in 2019, like congratulations, you, your house are just increased by a minimum of at least 15%. Do I think those dynamics are gonna change in 2021? No, I think the houses will continue to skyrocket in value because those things aren't going to change. But I think by the end of 2021, it will normalize. And back in, in 2022, things will go back down to normal where the houses are just increasing at a 7% interest rate every year. It's just been the general trend for Austin over the last 20 years. So does that mean you shouldn't buy a house right now? Well, not necessarily because even though the housing prices may not go may not go up as much, they're still gonna go up in general. So it's still a good time to buy. Now, one of the things as a buyer is difficult to buy in Austin, just because anything under four hundred thousand, forget about it. There's gonna be twenty or thirty offers, and it's it's gonna be a minimum of at least twenty thousand over the asking price. So I'd say continue to still. Uh, continue to still buy in the Austin area because the val prices sh should still increase in value. And there's been a lot of talk that, hey, there might be a market crash because of the forbearance that was going to end in March of 2021. Well, they've now extended that to 2022. So the supposed market crash for Austin will probably not occur because of that. And is it possible that there could be a market crash? Maybe, I don't, I don't have a crystal ball, but in my opinion, I don't think so because the demand in Austin for houses is so high. Even if a bunch of houses has become available for sale, there is such a strong demand to meet it that the only thing that's gonna change is maybe the demand may not be quite as high because of it. Because in December of 2020, the demand for a house it was it was 0 0.7 months of inventory and that's the way you do determine demand and typically in austin previous years it's been a little under three so to be 0 0.7 months of inventory is extremely low so i don't see that there's going to be a market crash and i think the houses are going to continue to still rise i don't know if it's going to increase at quite the same rate as it did in 2020 but i do believe it will continue to increase and i do believe in 2022 they will more normalize and it'll go back down to what normally is because the vaccine is now out. And I think uh, as a federal government, the interest rates or mortgage rates will, will rise back up again. And I think there'll be less people moving to Austin. So I do believe that the demand will go down by the end of 2021, but I do believe at least at the start of 2021, the demand is just as high and the market really hasn't changed that much from 2020. So I know it's a tough market for our buyers, but it's a great market for a seller. That's all I have for you to give you an update on what I think is going to happen in 2021. So talk to you guys soon. Bye.